is Cinderella the crown princess of all Disney princesses? Could be because her movie was chosen to be the first in a major renovation effort that will restore all of Walt Disney's animated features to their original style and colors. Thanks to Mike Giamo, friend of Tolgiewood TV, and a major creative power in the restoration effort, I attended a screening of the newly restored Cinderella at the Academy Museum earlier this summer. It was stunning, to say the least, to see the colors restored to their original glory and, more importantly, their correct hues. As part of this effort, Disney borrowed an original nitrate negative from the Library of Congress and scanned that pristine negative as a starting point. Mike Giamo and the rest of the team, including famed Disney animator Eric Goldberg, lent their expertise to what the original color choices were, also consulting resources from Disney's Animation Research Library and the Walt Disney Archives. This corrected changes that had been made in Cinderella's ball gown, which had been made more blue than the silvery, moonlit magic that the gown is supposed to be, and even Cinderella's hair, which in some restorations has looked more yellow than the dusty blonde that it is supposed to be. This incredible restoration was released on 4K Blu-ray as a Disney Movie Club exclusive, and as we speak is being screened at the El Capitan Theater in Hollywood. But if you're a subscriber to Disney+, Plus, you're in luck, because this extensive and very expensive restoration is making its debut on the streaming service this Friday, August 25th. But speaking of Cinderella's dusty blonde hair, did you know that she could have been a brunette? That's right. Her hair could have been black as ebony, because at one point, Walt Disney considered bringing back Snow White and her animal friends to star in Cinderella. 